Alright guys, as you know I had a chance to try out a new build of WWE 2K14 on Friday, but this wasn't actually the finished version as not everything was included, meaning the create modes were limited to create a superstar, custom championship and superstar threads, alongside the WWE Universe mode, various matches from the Ruthless Aggression era of 30 years of WrestleMania, and a few basic exhibition matches such as one on one, triple threat, tag team and extreme rules. On the plus side though, the entire roster was unlocked and available to use. So firstly I can confirm who's included as this year's managers with Ricardo Rodriguez, Miss Elizabeth, Paul Bearer, Bobby Heenan and Mr Fuji all making the cut alongside Mr Perfect. So Mr Perfect is included in the game but only as manager meaning you can't actually use him as a playable character. One name missing from the manager list that I did expect to see however was Paul Heyman but I did create him in a matter of seconds using superstar heads with Heyman's clothing templates including suits to make the process nice and simple. Staying with superstar heads I can confirm that it's not possible to change the hair on any of the faces and although there's a templates option listed in the head section this just takes you back to the start screen where you choose whether or not to create a superstar, diva or a WWE superstar so there's no way of switching between multiple faces for the listed superstars. In a similar fashion and not being able to change the faces when using superstar heads, custom championship mode features a similar problem in that when using one of the WWE championship templates it's not actually possible to apply logos, meaning you can't actually update the current WWE title and add custom side plates, you're only limited to changing the colours of the belt like last year. If you choose one of the preset custom designs however then you're free to edit the belt any way that you like by changing the colour or applying logos and even custom paint tool data with 50 new relief designs added, 48 of which you can see here, but whichever belt you do create then they're not available to upload this year, with Brian revealing that they do plan to eventually allow players to upload belts in future games, but when they do that they want to expand on it by allowing players to also defend titles online. In some more positive news, due to the entire roster being unlocked to use, I was able to use a lot of this year's superstars and divas of which a lot of them have newly added catapult finishers this year. As for Kofi Kingston, a lot of people asked about the trouble in paradise and if it's been updated to work without the setup kick and it has and it's also a catapult finisher which looks absolutely brutal. Aside from Kofi there's a lot of other superstars sporting catapult finishers with Cesaro having the European uppercut, Big Show the WMD, Wade Barrett the ball hammer, Sheamus has the broad kick and various superstars have the likes of the spear so there's a lot more variety to them this year. Moving on to this year's OMG moments and we now have a full list of the 7 new additions which include the double shell shock, double attitude adjustment, double choke slam, the ring apron DDT, the ring post big boot, the undertaker's suicide dive to the outside which is only available for undertaker and spear through the glass pod in the elimination chamber. Switching to arenas, aside from Saturday Morning Slam, all the current show arenas are there, including the current NXT arena which was one of my favourites to use, and there's also a custom arena in the game for WrestleMania 30 that uses a custom stage design and features the WrestleMania 30 logos and nameplates, so even if it's not entirely accurate, the logos and nameplates are in the game so it'll be easy to recreate following the pay per view. Aside from what I've mentioned, there was also the newly revealed streak mode which I covered in a previous video, so you can view that by clicking on the link on the screen or in the video description. And of course there was universe mode which unfortunately I didn't get to play too much of as I left my friend playing it while I was interviewing Brian, so I'll speak to him about that and then cover some of the universe deals in a separate Q&A video which I'll also answer some of the questions that you submitted last week. So in the meantime, hopefully there's a bunch of new confirmations here for you and if you haven't already seen it then check out the interview that I did with Brian using the annotation on screen and also via the link in the description. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video and I'll catch you later for more on WWE 2K14.